this is like my ideal legging the best legging in my opinion that alphalete have ever created when i took these out they have a sheen to them and they feel a lot thinner i felt like i was going mental the last time i did an amplify review no one else seemed to notice that there was a material change whilst the label said the same thing my leggings felt vastly different last time round to the first batch of amplifier that i had and then i stopped feeling crazy when you guys started getting your orders and you were dming me saying yeah the material definitely feels different if i put my fist through the original rainfall color you really really can't see much charcoal color you can see my ruby and i think that's because of the material change whereas now they've kind of developed into a tight kind of material i do not know who started the vicious rumor that this was the og material but it is not i think it speaks volumes that people can sell their og amplifier leggings and people pay the price for like 200 pounds you can see they're literally like tights they're very very very thin it's okay for that to then pill so easily no i can honestly hand on my heart say my og ones have really stood the test of time of viola bikers i wear them all the time was high quality feeling in my opinion that's just my opinion vindication guys welcome back to another video and today's video as you can probably tell is a very exciting video i was asked to keep my mouth shut about this and so i did as i was told and i cannot keep a secret but i kept it even though even though a lot of people didn't and i've been getting questions about this for months and i was like i'm not breaking my promise i promise i was asked not to say anything not saying anything so i kept my mouth shut but in october this vlog is from october 2023 i was very very very very very lucky to be asked to go to turkey with alphalete i went with melissa who is the head of design and melissa who is the product developer at alphalete to basically go back to the original factory where amplify was made there is a lot that's gone on behind the scenes but that's really not my story to tell this vlog is basically to show you guys the behind the scenes of that process i found the original factory where amplify was made for the first two drops black friday 2020 and the birthday sale 2021 and can i just say i know i've put the vindication clip in but i have been saying ever since after the 2021 birthday sale drop i was like there's something different amplify feels different and to have it confirmed when i was there where i was like okay and with the original italian yarn which is making a comeback for the drop on the 27th of april 12 p.m cst 6 p.m uk time now something i want to say first of all is i do not have my package yet okay so don't hold me to it if things don't feel the same as og i will let you know because even when we were in turkey I tried so many different bottoms between spring and summer. Some of them were great fabrics, like felt close to OG or even exactly the same as OG. Some of them fell, even though it is the exact same fabric and it is the exact same fabric. It was all the original Italian yarn. Some of them fell not the best. They were slippy, they were slick, they were thin. And that's because, and I did not know this, you can have the exact same yarn being used but if you put a certain wash on it it can make it a lot more delicate a lot more pill prone a lot more it can make it basically a weaker fabric but it might be really nice to touch because it might be incredibly soft so i don't know what's happened between then and now with washes or anything like that but i do know for a fact this is the original italian yarn now how that transpires in terms of feel and fit and stuff i will let you guys know when i get my package i will obviously do a full review and it won't be biased i didn't get to like design any of these pieces like this is all melissa and melissa's hard work i was basically there to be a fit model because i've got very like proportional measurements basically um so things should fit a lot more true to size from now on because they also do have a proper fit model who fits the right specs for their specs so they're not just using like random people anymore or like whoever's in town at the time which i think is what was making fits be so different between drops because if they'd use someone with like wild proportions for one and then use someone with very different proportions to sample the next thing you're gonna get like very inconsistent sizing. So sizing should be a lot more consistent from now on. Um, 
but yeah the original yarn is back like i said i would let you know in my review how things feel how things fit but i can tell you with absolute certainty that these pieces are being made with the original yarn and this vlog is basically us going to the factory you're going to see how seamless items are made you're going to see the factory that they're coming out of and that's another thing as well which is really important to me to know that the factories are like sustainable and they had really really good sustainability in the factory they've got a couple of different factories the one that we toured on the first day it was all renewable energy so they're using all renewable energy obviously i've seen the working conditions i've toured the factories i've seen the conditions of the factories that they're using the dye factory you're going to see you're going to see the cotton factory which they've decided to switch to as well and it's also a really nice thing to know that i can now say with certainty i know where these items are coming from as far as seamless and now cotton pieces go and the people were incredible it was such a good experience and you're going to see basically the upcoming collection that's dropping on the 27th you're going to see that go from like day one to the final day where we were like really like finalizing tweakments you're going to see the design process behind it and why melissa decided to trial for example the split logo and basically the whole thing is what you're going to be seeing and um, there's been some slight adjustments made and you're going to basically see the whole behind the scenes process of that but i think the main thing that i want to say is just a huge huge huge thank you i never ever ever thought i would get an opportunity like this it really was and if you've been watching my hauls for a long time you will know i have spoken about the bloody fabric since june 2021 it has been a consistent feature in my videos ever since then i do believe don't quote me on it but i do believe i was the first person to notice a change and yeah i was correct in that as well so vindication as captain holt said r.i.p to a real one but i just wanted to say a huge huge thank you to you guys because i don't think alphalete would have batted an eyelid at even giving me this opportunity if it wasn't for how receptive and like how much you guys care about my reviews basically and mentioning my name even to alphalete or like whenever i don't know maybe you guys have like dm'd them something i know that people have like recommended me when it comes to like customer services and stuff as well like the whole thing is just wild to me and i would not have been able to do this trip if it wasn't for your guys support so genuinely genuinely thank you so much because this was such a cool experience for me and i think i can be very harsh on myself sometimes but i think what this trip taught me as well is that i really appreciate the behind the scenes sort of stuff and i would honestly give up any photo shoot opportunity any video shoot opportunity to to have that experience like i feel like that was truly my roman empire i had so much fun so much fun it didn't even feel like work yes the days were quite long and we were out for like 12 hours every single day but it was so much fun the people that i met were incredible and it was just such a cool experience and like i said because i have been banging on about the fabric for so long it felt really special that when they've decided to do such a ballsy move they decided to basically take me with them and i did like give them a like a notes thing I, I i made them a couple documents when i was there basically but i did give them a notes thing on like things to do with like the scrunch um the shine in the fabric the elasticity of the scrunch the um slickness of the fabric which fabrics i tried when we were there it's all the same fabric but which colorways felt best because some of them had washes on and some of them didn't so i tried to be as detailed as possible and i'm hoping that when my package comes in i feel like happy with the items but yeah a huge thank you to you guys and a huge thank you to alphalete for this opportunity without further ado i am gonna play the vlog enjoy it and i will give you a full in-depth youtube review of the drop coming up on the 27th probably over the next few days i will try and get it up by monday um because i want to be able to wash the pieces and train in them and really give them a good go so that i can really compare them to my original pieces from 2020 start of 2021 yeah enjoy the vlog guys hello from turkey i am in turkey <laughs> i can't believe i'm saying this i am in turkey first of all with no luggage but that's a different story i'll have probably 
spoken about that months ago because this video is going to be going up a lot later than when I'm filming this. It's going to go up like months after, but I am in Turkey with Alphalete for relaunch, the rejuvenation of their seamless line. If you know me, you know it's June 2021. Amplify has been getting inconsistent, it's been getting funky and it's just not been feeling the same as it used to. So we are in Turkey to fix that up. I am being the fit model because I am good measurements for a size small spec. Um, I've never been more flattered to be perfectly average. Shout out to my mum and dad for not giving me any wild genetics so that I am <laughs> able to do this because this is like, this is a dream like a dream for me I don't know what to expect I don't know how this is gonna go I don't know I've never done something like this before so I'm so excited to document this journey and show you guys what we're gonna be doing basically but yeah welcome to my vlog of being on a work trip with the Alpha Lee I'm super super super excited I've only been on one work trip for Alpha Lee before in about four years and that was a black friday shoot last year and this is super different to that but this is like i mean shoots are fun but like this is this is my roman empire this is my Met Gala. i'm so excited i'm super super super excited i got you guys we're gonna try and bring back the original fabric the og i just wanted to say as well i'm here with melissa who is the head of design melissa who is the product developer at alpha lee and everyone who behind the scenes put me forward for i don't know who but anyone who mentioned my name about this trip thank you like i'm so so so so grateful to be here like this is a really really really cool experience for me some people would find this probably incredibly boring for me this is really really a lot of fun i'm super super super i'm so excited and obviously of course thank you to you guys as well because i do think how much you guys trust me has helped me get this opportunity and how much we sort of as a community stay in contact with each other i feel like i'm very involved with you guys and hopefully you guys feel like i'm approachable and you can come to me when you have issues um so yeah thank you to you guys as well you are the best Okay, so on day one, we actually did like a whole tour of the factory, which was so much fun because we got to see how um, the seamless machines work and how seamless items are made, which I feel like I've seen online, but seeing it up close is honestly wild. Um, I have had to cut the audio from this because my mics got lost in London with the rest of my luggage. So I didn't have any of my proper filming equipment. Um, so even though the guys were very kindly explaining what was going on, you can't hear a thing, which is why I'm having to voice over this. But Seamless is basically made in tubes obviously with cut and sew it's basically pieces of fabric and then it's cut and sewn together um the clue is in the name but with seamless it's made in this tube here which is what you're seeing the threads are sort of at the top they're weaved into the machine and then the seamless item comes out of this thing here like so like it's literally about to come out it looks like it's having a poop low-key but that is how seamless items are made it's going to drop and then there you go it goes into a basket and they look honestly wild and then obviously that's just a seamless fabric and then there is still like cutting and sewing involved in the process of making seamless which you will know if you've bought any seamless item they still have seams on them um but they are made in a tube so this is i think this is like a bra of some description um, but obviously it doesn't look like much right now and each seamless machine sews for like a different size so they're not actually all made by the same machine and there were so many machines like so many machines guys a crazy amount of machines and everything felt very I don't know, I felt like I'd leapt like 20 years into the future. It was so cool be seeing these things being made. And then they have this here. I think this is to test like the tension of the fabric. I'm pretty sure that's what you said. So how much it can stretch and how much stretch it can take. Because I'm assuming like certain things need to be stretchier and need to be able to take more stretch. So that's how they do this, which you can see how stretchy this piece is here. Um which was, yeah, he's basically explaining that there. And then they do this as well, which I'm going to be completely honest, I can't actually remember what this was for. I feel like it might be something to do with like the opaqueness of the fabric, um, given that they've just done the stretch test, but don't hold me to it because yeah, 
Okay. We knit it, dye it, sew it, package it. Sew it, package it. Yeah. Okay. okay, very cool. I got confused. No. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Four process. Yeah. Um, gluing and laser cutting yeah. all here too as well. So in Istanbul, no? But okay. uh, I say again, in the end of the year. Uh -oh. Oh. So see this smit in the tube? Yeah. This is where the actual back racer back line is. Oh, okay. So this is where they're gonna cut it. Right. Okay. And sew it together. So that this makes is how sense. they show where the cut lines are. Mm. Which is really really cool. So they like make it in the tubes and yeah. then they so this get is it. This. Right. Okay. That's how it'll end up. That is cool. <laughs> They did a better job of turning. Yeah, feet. they did. I'm curious when you put this on, how you feel? Because it does add an extra thread. In the R and D room, guys, they've got different sized mannequins, which I just feel is so cool. Very, very cool. Different shapes, different sizes, different builds. Like this one compared to that one. Genius. They're so nice as well. Like they've got like padding on them and they can take it off so they can wash it. We have an egg machine has a sound screen. Screen is also has a some special code. In our uh, inner line, inspection team is scanning the line, read the old inspector card and check in the garment on time. If you see any problem, problem name is click it. After that write is how many pieces? For example, 75 person each for example catch the 20 items the problematic and automatically the band is stopped. Ah. And we add the screens, the big screens on the line. And we are see that in the problem, how many pieces, and stop the line, and the last team is came here, so the problem on time, not in the packaging size. Cool. We are short of the time, and we are, uh, how do they say, in order to stable the problem. Right, yeah. right, very cool. The other way, and also we saw the performance, the, our employee performance. We are checking the every each day's performance. The third advantage, in my opinion, is the best one. This line, every time makes, for example, leggings. In a time, everybody knows that your mentality, your garments, and your saving quality, and uh, comes to stable in a time. Quality comes to stable. Right. Like these employees over here will be allocated for Alphalet, for example. Yeah, yeah, they will understand the customer's mentality. Amazing. And they will just do Alphalet. They will just do cool. That's that is really yeah. cool, actually. Yeah. But otherwise, one day they're still making the exact, exactly. like the other right. day they're still making the exact. Right. So all that. We have some in the winter garden and open places, some cafes, some things. Oh. And our the cafe is the town, I will show you. Yeah. And some. The balcony is over there, with low balcony also, the easily the next cement or something. Yeah, yeah. Of course, the this application some rules. Uh, yeah, dogs, small dogs, yeah. <laughs> Just puppies? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm okay with puppies. <laughs> Metal detector just comes over there and package it came here and go inside. Okay. Uh, inside of this wall. And then we make the pack, uh, metal, this is a freeze off, metal freeze off. Cool. Makes the inside. And this machine is also our only machine. Ah! That is really cool. Check the I've got like an extra, I've got like an extra, I've got like an extra, I've got like an extra, I've got like an extra, I've got like an extra, I've got like an extra, I've got like an extra, I've got like an extra, I've got like an extra, I've got like an extra, I've got like an extra, I've got like
Sen daha orada mısın ya? Yani? No comment. No comment. No comment. Oh, yeah. I, it came in half an inch slightly big on the but you can see that it's a bit scratchy on the head. Oh, okay. Then, uh, I'll I'll think. Think. Oh, I'll I'll I'll I'll I'll I look mental right now. I look crazy. My hair looks <laughs> crazy, but as we can tell, I finally got my luggage. Um, but we've been fitting the Elite Amplify, so many new bras, like it is all new. I just want to say as well, Melissa and Melissa are so nice, like so nice. They've been, they're just so nice. And they're like geniuses. They are so smart. I've learned so much already just in the past two days. So I'm excited for another day of fitting, of course, but also learning. I'm learning a lot. And this is like an <laughs> an area that I'm interested in. Um, cogs are whirring, we'll just say that in terms of what I, want to do but this has honestly been fascinating the past two days have been so so so much fun um i tried on something yesterday briefly that was 
so good. I think we're fitting it properly today, so you will probably see um, those clips today. But yeah, we've just got more fittings today. The days are like quite long. And yeah, being a fit model, you are stood up for a while for, you know, people poking at you and taping you and prodding at you, but not in a bad way. Like it's a lot of fun. I honestly don't mind. Um, Melissa and Melissa keeping like, sorry, sorry, sorry with the tape and stuff. I'm like, it doesn't even hurt. I'm just happy to be here, guys. But they are so, so smart. Like just learning about how like a slight change, change the fit or like the tension of a fabric. That's something I've never even considered before. Like everything is just, it really, really is fascinating. So I'm excited for another day. So yeah, we've got fittings today. Um, and then we have got, I think we're going for dinner afterwards with um, some people from the factory, from the manufacturers. Um, but yeah, I am super, super excited for today. Excited to try some more new pieces. The freshness, I think this vlog is gonna be posted in 2024. You will have probably already seen some of the freshness, but the freshness that is coming this year, it's fresh. Like it's new. It's yes, in some ways trying to return to how things were before in terms of fabric, in terms of fit, in terms of bloody consistency, to be honest, which is something that was so needed, but the styles are new. It's like a scary change for Alpha Lee. I've been with them for a few years and they've, you know, amplified it so well, but they've been doing normal amplify for a good three years now. Um, and it's time to evolve. It's time to start getting ahead of the curve again. So I'm, really excited and i think you guys are going to be excited as well um but yeah time for another day unfortunately this vlog is going to have to skip to the next day because on this day the fittings that we were doing were for um summer so i can't show you any of that yet because it's not out yet and it's not summer yet so i can't i'm not allowed to include that in this vlog so i'm really sorry um and when i'm talking about like newness and freshness and stuff to be honest, most of the things which I didn't realise when things were coming, it's mainly like summer and like later in spring as well. Like the next drop, totally new range. It's not seamless. Um, and I'm really, really, really excited for that because I've realised when I'm editing this vlog and going back through, it sounds like I'm really excited for like just another iteration of Amplify, which obviously I'm glad that the quality should be better again. I'm saying should because I still don't have my package yet. Um... Obviously, I'm excited that the quality should be better again, but um, I am more excited for like the real newness, like completely new designs. Yes, some of the stuff in summer um, is going to be seamless and it will have like scrunch bum on it, but it's it's new. It's not just like a new colour of standard Amplify. It's new and it's not split logo <laughs> before anyone panics. I know that won't be for everyone. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to basically explain why I had to skip a day because that whole day of fittings, I can't include anything. Sorry. It's Thursday today, so we are getting close to the end of the week. I think today we're visiting another factory. I'm not sure what of that I'll be able to film, if any. Um, and I'm not sure we have any fittings today. I don't think we have fittings today. We did fittings all day yesterday and finished at about half five and then we went for dinner, which was yummy, so good and with such a good view. I've done loads of filming of the fittings. Um, but yeah, there's like a flared pan that I tried that I just, I think is gonna do really, really well. There's a couple things I've tried that I think will do really well. Um, there was something yesterday which I suggested we turn into something else and they did like the idea so we will see i'm trying to fight for the girlies <laughs> not fight but like i'm trying to advocate for the girls to have at least two um length up op options for shorts it won't always be possible with a brand new product but some of these ranges have two different styles of shorts so i'm like can we at least do one and they're very receptive to it they're very open to feedback which is something that i like about alpha lee they are receptive to feedback it sometimes takes them too long to action it but melissa and melissa are very on the ball they know what's going on so yeah we are visiting another factory today i think that's it and then tomorrow we are wrapping some of the seamless that we tried on monday we're going to see it again tomorrow with the tweaks um, and see how it fits. So we will talk you through everything that we changed and it should be a good little educational piece. But yeah, I need to run downstairs because otherwise I'm gonna be late. 
and a little OOTD. This jacket is actually not Alpha Leap, but they are bringing out some full length jackets, which I love. I've got my Aura pewter leggings on and some socks and my New Balance because they're super, super comfy. We want the bird with you guys. <laughs> This is lighter. No, no, this is different. This is different. Yes, lighter. Yeah. Well, for that, you might want lighter because it's here. Right. But even like it's like a crop. And like a booty part. Is that mid slight ledges today? Oh, that's fine. Yeah, they're not very really that kind. Of <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know there. <laughs> <laughs> and they are making all the pattern here, and they are using the, uh, the pattern there. paper here and making Red all the. And let's go here. It's like we just stepped through the Pink. closet to <laughs> Yeah, uh, this table just for the sampling cutting. Okay. And here they are cutting for the production. Uh, Look how many they cut in one. This is laser. So oh. they stack it all together and then they laser yeah. cut it. Like it's yeah. actually. You can, you can see the neck. Oh, okay. Yeah. All the fabric when uh, come here, like weight, oh, okay. white, uh, color, this controlling figure. Got it. Like they punch it and yeah. figure it out. Okay. Normally, uh, I mean, it's like that. They, oh. are, they are putting all the fabric like a line, and yeah. after that, they are cutting from the this line. Oh, okay. And how many layers is this? Like uh, 30, 40. 30, 40. It, yeah, it it depends on the fabric type. Yeah. Because you know the this uh, knife length is not too much, and it's not good to making. Mm, long line. The cutting, uh, the, the goods go to print, embroidery or anywhere. Here they are controlling all the prints, like uh, is it true, is there any problem, and okay. they are controlling here and they are putting one line for the uh, number of the pieces oh, okay. they, for, the, for the production, it should be same number. And after that, they are, they are starting the uh, production. Uh, we have three lines here. One is working with other products, one is working with other products. And they are starting to uh, sewing from here. That's uh, okay. <laughs> They all cleaning the uneven yarns with the, that sharpener machine. They use that machine. They are cleaning all uneven, you know, yarns. Uh, problem at the seal. You know, if she sold anything, you can. You need to fix that. She's giving the back to production. Okay. Checking their work. Yeah, yeah. checking the work before the ironing and packaging. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> this is the production team room. They are making the planning or logistic. Mm -hmm. They are working okay. here. And this is the dreams room. Uh, they are, they are preparing the boxes for each product. They are preparing the, all the trims and they give the uh, trims with the box for the production so it cannot mix. Okay, that's cool. Also, how they iron, it shows the gold iron like here, here, it shows the here and they are looking for that and they iron here. After I this is the final uh, control. We have a, a control at the end of the sewing line. After I 
have another control here. For, for measuring and quality control, if there is a mistake or not, if it is okay, they are giving two packages. The cotton factory were amazing and actually managed to turn around some of the styles the same day um, that we were... I think that they already had sort of like lined up for this upcoming drop, um, but they were able to turn it around in the same day. And I believe when I was there in February, I checked like the um, label on the fabric and I'm pretty sure they did decide to switch to this factory. And the guys were so, so, so nice. And obviously I've had a tour of the factory. I've seen what the factory looks like. I've seen the working conditions. I've seen everything um and it's really really cool to see all that sort of behind the scenes stuff so um yeah i don't think this t-shirt is in this drop actually but uh the other one that i've just showed you definitely is and then there's like a sort of baby doll split tee but you'll see all that sort of stuff in my haul um but yeah we were just fitting the t-shirts and i think they did decide in the end to go with this factory and the quality on the fabrics of the cotton here is really really really nice also if you were curious this factory makes worse behavior uh, which is my favorite hoodie like ever um the hacko hoodie that they do comes out of this factory so trust me guys the quality is quality is assured um but yeah we were just doing some more fittings here so i sped it up hello it is so early this morning but it's friday today so i think this is probably going to be our last like full work day here um we have got a tour of like the dye factory so that's what we're gonna go and do i think that's what we're doing first and then we're seeing a turn of everything we fitted on monday which was like elite seamless items um so the amplifier with like the waistbands but yeah so we've got that to do we've got some interesting filming bits to do but yeah i did not sleep well last night so i'm very tired i'm gonna have to do my makeup in the car um but yeah i actually need to run downstairs because we need we need to leave but yeah it's an earlier start this morning every other morning it's been like 9 a.m this morning it's eight it's only an hour but i tried to get up at six and i was like no absolutely not so do my makeup in the car it is yes welcome to friday i will obviously take you around the dye factory um and we'll see how the pieces that we fit on monday came out with the adjustments. A straw machine that we're gonna show you how it works in terms of the lattice process. Cool. I've never seen a dye house before. It's really exciting. Feel free to do some close-up spanning artistic So like this system in terms of the recipe, given the uh, enough amount of water, chemical and dye stuff. Whoa. into that and at the end of the process we're going to add the fabric that's been approved by the customer as well so the dye stuff is coming on the fabric that has been approved that is so cool those are chemicals over there. All are dye stuff, those are chemicals. Nós 
Sen kurtuyor muyum? Yok. Şimdi makineye takıyoruz boyama makinalarına. Orada da iki saat kalıyor. Boyama Now she's gonna put that in into the dyeing uh, dye tumbler over there. It stays in there for like a two hours. So this is for the previous one, you can see. It's over there for like an hour probably. This is drying. And you can see this one. Material oven. <laughs> Yıkama kartı da verir misin oradan bana? Bunlar da yıkama aslında. Yıkama makinalarımız var iki tane de. Hazır kayar bir kişi daha yıkama. Şimdi anlatayım. Do you also do uh, what's it? Yeah. When you rub off? Rubbering? No, all of that. Abrasion? Abrasion? Right. No, when it rubs off on something else. Oh, vibration. These are over here. Ah, got it. Dry and wet. Yes. And penalty yellow in for the white. And these are the results for the pesticides. Cool. Very cool. Bunlar yine aynı şekilde. Eğer bunu sunulmazsa da tekrar tahmin alıyorsun. So like this is the original one that is coming from customer and that is our result. They're gonna uh, compare the color shape So like this spectrometer that is inside of the circle. Uh, there are three different lights. D65 TL84. TL84 olur. So like that circle on the bottom evet. left yeah. is passing. Uh, evet. In terms of like if it's like within tolerance, within tolerance, in terms of the volume. But sometimes the main thing is that, for example, in the same production, sometimes it passes from here and sometimes it passes from here. So you'll probably see some like color shade difference. Ah, uh, so that's like a little more yellow. Like, this is blue and this is yellow. Yeah. But it also passes.
elite uh, lettering, for example, how it looks bu, uh, on the program? Yarım yazıyor ya, bu yarım olması şey. Bir de aynısı işte bu değil mi bu? İşte bu, tight model. Bu modelin. This is a tube of your legging. Bir de bunun şeylerinde, bu şu yazıları standart şey. olarak hepsinde yaptım. Neyi? Mesela bunu 14 üstte yaptım tamam mı? <gülüyor> Mesela 15'te de aynı yazı, aynı ölçü şeklinde. Evet, tamam. Yani 16'sında, 17'sinde. Tamam, ayı aşağı oynuyor musun? Tamam, ayı aşağı oynuyor musun? Tabii. Tabii, Bu kemerin. Aynen, şey. şimdi kemerden... This is a lady, that's a scrunch. Şurası yok, shop. Aynen. Bunu da zaten hani bir saniye. Bu arada daha rahat. That's how long it is to be given. Kırmızı olan yer. Oh, wow. Wow, pattern. It looks different on the garment. Yeah. Yeah. This has a very long ass. That one is jacket, like dark jacket. Oh, okay. Şu baca kalası. O da bir güzel. Bunda ne güzel. Tabi. İşte şöyle. The crotch area. Zaten burası bacak işte. On the two back this area. Ama buradan kesi bu şekilde. Şu da. Şu da sır aynı bu şekilde. Şu da arkadan bakabiliriz. Böyle aşağı doğru iniyor. This is the leg, leg part of the garment. Yeah. No, I just want to, let's talk about the logo really quick too. Um, you need to go in between. I know, is this, this is too big and this is this too big and that's too small. It's like, because you want to be able to read it. I think you can read this. And I think this way is too big where you can't, because you can't see the whole letters across your ribcage. Just the P here is messed up. So I think what they did is try and compensate, but the P is different. Like the spacing is slightly different on the P. It's like narrower here than it is on the side. It's like eagle eye with that stuff. So, yeah, because even here, like, the P is just skinnier than everything else, so we just need to talk to him about making sure that if it's cropped, the letters need to be evenly distributed, even though, it's I don't know, it's weird, because then it'll mess up the bottom, but, yeah. Two drops a year right now, just super small drops, um, a couple of, like, our favorite colors, but really just showcasing special version of something that everyone loves. Yeah. I don't know, it gives more of like, it's more of like an edgy look logo compared yeah. to normal. Yeah, that's a bit more edgy. A little louder, so you're yeah. going to be that person who just like kind of wants to shout a little bit more, but um, we usually do just like muted tonal tone, just gives you, like you said, just a little bit more edge. Um, definitely know who you are when you're wearing it. <laughs> I feel like it looks a lot better today than it did on Monday. I feel like on Monday this was all sitting weird. Yeah, it was. Like it was. all this was yeah. sitting very strange. And that's why like seeing a quick turn of it is really great because then you can see it right in a row. So. Yeah. We asked to add an inch and a half to the last photo. It didn't happen, so it's the same as last Yeah, time. okay. That makes sense. So it'll be about here. Yeah, which I think is great because you were talking about how much you liked like that little peak. Yeah, just not enough of a peak. Much. Yeah, <laughs> just a sneak peak. Just a sneak peak, which I think will work really well. And also, when you go like this, oh, it stays. It's sort of like staying really well. Yeah, it in actually place. really is. I mean, when you put your arms up, it bunches a bit here, but it's, any top is going to do that. I was expecting it to slide down a lot more. I was too. <laughs> Do you want the you want the, <coughs> work, the weights? No. <laughs> but no, that's good. It doesn't. No, it fits absolutely beautiful on you. And like when you do that, it just curves so pretty. Yeah. Sleeves are a really good length as well. Yeah. Like okay. I like being able to go, like literally to here. Oh really? Yeah. So and what's great if you don't like it, you have enough room to just bend it back. If oh you don't yeah. Like it, and there's so. no thumb holes, so you're not going to get the weird like bunching that you get with thumb holes. Yes, and shout out to everyone who did the online poll as to yeah. whether thumb holes were yeah, a most, yes or a no or a meh. Yeah, most people were like not bothered. So we're not going to lengthen the rib. We're going to lengthen the body side so that we don't have rib on rib right there. And we really need to try and that bra to make sure. Okay. Because the two layers together. Yeah, it could be a bit bulky. Okay. 
Just a little bit of all seed food. That's good. Yeah. This is thicker than this, and that'll be two layers right here. Oh, yeah, Realistically, yeah, that would be. A little too bulky. The lettering needs to be tweaked. Slightly smaller. Because you want to be able to... And I feel like I as, can't read that from here. And I feel like as well it's the L's because it's cut in half. Yeah. And then there's such a big gap because obviously an L would go like that. Right. And then there's really big gaps here. So we really need to evenly distribute at the top layer. Which yeah, the P's might, really... It's wonky, eh? Yeah. I don't think anything to the back. Yeah, because that's... I'm going to worry that you're going this way so this side is to the camera. It's a baby bear. How much do you feel it? I mean, the other thing is they actually have this doubling up to here, which I don't think they need. Just kind of want to wonder. Kind of want to lengthen it a little bit here. Okay. I don't think an inch and a half, though. No. Like half? Is an inch too much, or what are you worried about? I'm just worried about how much her chest is hiking it. Yeah, but it's hiking the bra too, so it's mm -hmm. evenly hiking. But on somebody oh. that doesn't have the chest, it's going to be down here. Got it. I see. Because this is also helping you drastically push up. Yeah. Like, look at that cut. Like, yes. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry to. Oh, we we want it to look like this from the outside, but. Does it have to be double layer all the way up to here, or can you just have it double layer lower? Yeah. You can? Yeah. Okay. So again, let, me, let me ask her to make sure. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yani kemerin öyle saltarız. Yani kemerin atıyorum. Şu mesela 10 santim ya. 10 evet. santim yaptık. Sizde istiyor ama. Just never open this. Just never open this. Just never open this. Just never open this. Just never open this. Just never open this. Just never open this. Just never open this. Just never open this. Just never open this. Just never open this. Just never open this. Just never open this. Just never I'm gonna lengthen this by half an inch. Like increasing it? Increasing it half an inch. Um so the rib will get half an inch longer all the way around. Okay. Then, like we were just discussing, only turn it back okay. one and a half. But the, the main thing is that this P, as you can see, something got warped this time, and the P is much narrower here than it is here, all the way around, even down here. So yeah. something happened with the P. So oh, we'll do it's that. just um, it's waistband and top is elastic, so it's just acting different on the garment. So it's the same measurement on the program. But on the garment, it's just acting different. That's the main problem okay. of that. Um, we should look at the other ones because I didn't notice it last time. So I wonder if they did accidentally tweak it. Okay. I would just like to double check. Body okay. will make more sense for us because yeah. she won't be here with us. Exactly. So we can ask her why she did Yeah, I'm not staying. <laughs> <laughs> I think she'll be on the yacht though. <laughs> I'm just on hold. On hold. I'm not in there. I might actually start doing this. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Do you want me to decorate one for you? Have like a flower or a bird or a dog? Or a wolf. A wolf? Yeah. We could do like a wolf you should, head like kind of, or a claw. You should get branded yeah, microphones. Christian can have like four in his mouth. You would fucking love that. <laughs> Okay, I actually really oh, like this. But this was, and this was the one that you were not. This is the one that I was really worried was gonna look. It just it was getting the proportions were off earlier. Remember, because it was way too long here, way too high here, and then we just had to do a, a bunch of adjustments. But it's just sitting so cute on you. I still see this. It's like it's still less, but oh, that one's more than that one. Oh, I don't see that one at all. Maybe maybe it's on. 
Oh, it's because they have it in the wrong spot. It goes below. You like it. Yeah. <laughs> it's way better than the Aura Banda. Good. Respectfully. Yeah. <laughs> Respectfully. I'm going to get in your armhole a little bit. It's twisting a little bit there. It's almost like we have a jump. Compressive. Yeah. Compressive, but also well, not it, uh, uncomfortable. Uh, How is the compression feel? Compression feels yeah. good. Obviously, it's not going to be a high support. Right. Bra, but I for example, like. Medium level here? Yeah. Not with those straps. <laughs> well, that's true. That's true. But come, I mean, it's better than our old ones. Yeah. yeah. It's like a drastic improvement. Really, the purpose of this is to have a core bra, a core seamless bra that you can kind of wear under any of our tops. So like that top that you just had on. Yeah. Now. You can have this strap, this strap, you can really, any of our off the shoulder stuff, or like, you can be able to hide the straps in it and wear it however you want. So you can wear it like this, you can wear it straight up, wear it cross in the back, you can wear it as a bandeau. Um, multi way. Multi ways. Multi ways. Because I know that Christian was really wanting some like higher performance bandeaus. But he also wants something that's like transformational. So yeah. this is the solve we did. So you got all the silicone in here. Yeah. That should be able to stick a little bit more and then you can transform these way you want to. Yeah. And the silicone grip is a lot better than the oil one. Yeah, okay. That was I don't know what they thought on that. It was like you know when you lick an envelope. <laughs> It was literally like that. I did nothing. I was like, should I try licking it and licking stick? Did you? Licking stick. Yeah. Licking okay. stick. Didn't work. So we really can name the next one that I guess we want. We're still going to run into that contrast right there. But they said they can see it. Okay. Sorry. I never hear anyone else say bloody hell. Huh? Bloody hell. Bloody hell. Oh, okay. So look how cute that is. Yeah, that is really So if you cute. were wearing something that was a halter, or something that, like a tank top that has a halter and you didn't want to show your straps, you can do this with it. So really yeah. this is... Oh, like a racer back top, I feel yes. like. Yes, yes. So if you don't want to show the straps, you can move them however you want. Or if you want to be cute, the other one that you could do here. Yeah, See, that, that's freaking cute. That is really, really cute. Fire. I just, yeah. I love the concept of a Milky Way. Me too, I think it's cute. I think it fits you really, really well. It's way comfier than the other bandos I've got from other places as well. Good. I'm going to do the cross again and I'm going to make you do the wall raise oh, okay. so that we can just make sure that we are not running into issues of pinching in the back. <laughs> Wait. Really feel it. Okay. Maybe a little bit, but not to the point where I feel like I'm noticing it. I love this. I think this is beautiful. I think we're getting to the point here. With, uh, can I see the side leg? Yeah. Uh, to me, this wants to sit here. Yeah. It, it goes too forward a little bit, but I would. I want it to come here and just go straight down because the purpose of this is a bit more open hole right here, so that like if you have bigger hips. Or a bigger butt, or if you're squatting, it moves with you, so it keeps it from like pulling your pants down. I don't think that's a major. You can change it, change it from here. Oh. How's the crotch feel? Feels fun. Feels crotchy. Right, Feels crotchy. See the back of it. So this is where. This is sitting really good on you. Yeah. And normally I do have the issue of the scrunch being like a, I call it a long backy crack. It just comes too far up. Okay. Well, now you have a normal. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, it's just sitting right in there. And what I like is this isn't like pulling down this much. Because yeah. what we did is we noticed that all of you guys are yanking it up to get it in place. And then it's shifting the thing. Because I've watched all of you guys put it on, you all do the same thing. <laughs> so what we did is we added just a smidge right in here so that it actually sit in the right place. You don't have to yank it into place, it just naturally sits and your butt just purposely goes on either side. And the Perfect butt. And the glutes just glue. Glutes just glute. They're just big. Glutes just glute. Just just glute. Just glute. <laughs> um, yeah, other than that, I, I like this line a little bit more. I think it's pretty. So. 
And then we'll just talk, uh, we'll just have to yeah, do I'm the right. art on that. Yeah. So, okay. Perfect. Just because you got By the way, you don't have to for the song because you don't have to fit each other. So no, if it, there's just only one thing that mm -hmm. I think will help you a lot. Okay. We're taking out that storm guard. No, it's it's looking pretty good. We knew this one's going to be a conversation anyway, so worst case you have to flip one more for us, but I'm honestly not thinking we're going to need to do that. I want this to be clean. Yes. Even if we put binding tape down? Yes. So this is happening because of this? Not that much, no. So let's, let's zip it up all the let's way. Let's zip it up. <laughs> Is it too short? Still just it's sitting quite nicely. Oh yeah, that's stiff. Do we want it here or here? I think we want it here. But... And then look at what's happening. Yeah. Well, this is all stretched out because of this. So... Like, I still think she's, and maybe it's just because of these. No, but. I don't think that much, though. Like, it's this. pushing them out. These. These. these. They're really straight today. Oh. Aww. <laughs> but, yeah, like, even. <laughs> well, when you did that, though. I think we just this need one, half. See, that, uh, this is what, it's pulling this way. So, see she's got two, if you do this. It, sorry, if you do this, it sits nicer where it wants to. But I think what's happening is this is pulling this way because of this. So do you think we need to reduce the neck width? No, I think we need to expand here. Part of me just wants to cut and open. Yeah. <laughs> Get away from my neck. <laughs> we'll let Melissa do this one. <laughs> Dad. <laughs> Remind me next time. Say no. Ask questions. Is this just a sample color? Well, no, but yes, but the real color is very close. It's okay. slightly darker. Show this to use. Sure. Yes, look. Yeah, the beauty. And then that just like lost all of that. Yeah, that lost all of it. Perfect. Yeah, because that is digging the fuck out of your neck. This. Because this is just stiff. Yeah, we can take whatever. Like this in no, there, we can take it out. Okay. Okay. There's no give to it. It's just stiff. I, have, I think. I'm just gonna. Oh my this my is pretty. You should, get, you should get friends. Look at that. I can't get I definitely look things. like. Not the Grinch, the girl off the ring. Oh, that one's terrifying. <laughs> Grease. Which is fine, so then this comes up yeah. to here and we build the van on top. Yeah. So it's really cute. This is a really nice width and you're good here. Yeah. Do some air things. <laughs> yeah. And this is a lot better. Like when we did it on Monday, I feel like this was like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Nice. But how are you gonna wear it? Like, this is fucking cute. How am I gonna wear it? Bam! But obviously, this wouldn't be here because you're gonna take this bit off, right? Just the part that says remove, the rest will stay. <laughs> <laughs> Plot twist, yeah. you're taking the whole bra away, it's just a collar? Yeah. <laughs> just that. It's, it's a necklace, really. Yeah. It's a sporty necklace, that's cute. Yeah, Zipper that'll look down. a lot better. Even for people that aren't gonna zip it, like me. I think this zip length is a good length. If it was lower, I feel like it's, it's just gonna, gonna rear it. it. Okay, okay, okay. Into you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because it's sitting where my gap is. So we did reduce. So what did we do? Because we made this baby rib. Because I'm almost wondering if this rib needs to go all the way up to the top. Like, do you feel like you have enough support right here? No, there is a bit of a gap. A little bit of a gap. Ribber rib mama rib. Or whatever one step up is. Ribber ribber ribber. Because it's great here, but I don't think you have anything under your chest, which you don't need, but a lot of people might. Most most humans would. Like sometimes 
higher support bras or bras that are maybe made with slightly bigger boobs than mine. They're just ugly. Like they're hideous. Yeah, I agree. They look like surgery bras. Yeah. And they it are not like made in forms. Yeah. Whereas this one, it's like practical, yes. Yeah. But also a little bit. Oh hey. I mean I'm supported. But I'm partying. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> this is what I've not been realizing the whole time, yeah, that it was so, too low. So if this comes up to here, then what is between here and here to sew the band into? The this bottom of it. On what? Like this is going to have to extend. So it's the same thing, we're just going to have to extend up. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. It should be fine. So this bit is super sped up, but basically when we've done the fittings, we then do, I think this is called like a handover, where we basically go over with the actual people who work at the factory. Um, we go over the changes we've made, explain things properly, ask questions, chat things through about what can be done, what can't be done. Um, and basically just hand over the changes that we have made. Um, and I think there were a couple on these bras and still on the leggings and especially about the lettering. So I'm hoping when my package comes, it's perfect. <laughs> and just like that, that is a wrap on what we have been working on this week. This trip has been so eye-opening for me. I feel like I've learned a lot. I've always been someone who just sort of, I know what I like, and I can kind of guess why I might like it or why I might not like something. But I, I'm i not like, I don't have like the Dunning-Kruger effect. I don't think I know everything. And I'm well aware of the fact that I don't understand garment making. I don't understand why things might be inconsistent. I don't understand why a certain wash being on a fabric might make it um, a little bit thinner, a little bit more delicate. Now, I'm really happy to say I have not a full understanding but I have much more understanding of these things and I'm like fascinated by it like I'm so fascinated by it this has been such a good week such a good week to some people standing around for like nine hours being poked prodded pinned taped as you will have seen is not their idea of fun this has been so fun for me this is like my Met Gala equivalent. Being invited to come on a trip like this is like how I imagine Kim K feels when she gets invited to the Met Gala. Like this trip is something I never, ever, ever thought I'd get to do. And something I'm very, very, very, very, very grateful I've had the opportunity to do. Um, it's just been so much fun and so interesting and I feel like I've learned so much. And Melissa and Melissa, <laughs> So we've got Melissa, who is head of design, and then we have got Melissa, who is product developer. They are just like the dream team. They are so knowledgeable. They have a wealth of experience in what they're doing, and I feel like I've learned so much from them. The people at the factories have been so nice. I'm trying not to get emotional because I'm like, actually, this week has just been, it's been really, really, it's been good okay it's been it's been good it was these the other day so these are colognes um but i have seen and i have like had it used on my hands as hand sanitizer because it's such like a high percent alcohol um and it's like really nice smelling hand sanitizer i'm not sure that's what you meant to use it for but i have seen people using like these exact ones whilst i've been here as hand sanitizer Turkish Delight and lo and behold within about an hour when we got to the showroom we had Turkish Delight each which is so nice. I love Turkish Delight but my dad loves it more so I think it's really nice as well that this is like properly packed so I can pack this. I'm not going to open it. Um, I'd love to open it and show you guys the flavours but I'm not going to open it. This cute little hamper box which is just, they're just so nice like I can't like they're so sweet. We've got little towels. These are so soft, like so soft. This is probably one of the softest towels I've ever felt. It's bamboo. This is some herbal soap, which smells incredible. Some jasmine soap, which again, just smells so good, like so clean and fresh. A soft linen body mist, which this is gonna be incredible for like the bedroom at home. This is gonna smell so good. Clean cotton. Oh, okay. 
a clean cotton diffuser. People here are so nice and this opportunity is like huge to me, like trust me, it is not lost on me how big of an opportunity this is. And it's like I said, like this is something I could have probably only dreamed of doing. I didn't even know that Alpha Link did like on-site trips. I think this is the first time um, that they have actually done one, but obviously they've got a whole new design team now, like things are changing quite quickly with Alpha Lee, um, for the best. I, I really do believe for the best and I'm just so excited for next year, especially after this week. Like you guys are not ready, but honestly like the people, obviously Melissa and Melissa, but the people here have made this trip so, so lovely. Like the factory people have been so nice, like so nice. So yeah, I'm just feeling very, very, very grateful. See, we wrapped up on the special edition amplify i think the zip bra is going to do one more sample but the other things that we tried actually i think the bando is doing one more sample as well to see if they can fix the silicone band it was showing through a little bit so they want to make it look a bit more sort of seamless um, and obviously some other decisions to be made but we wrapped that and then we the people from the cotton factory that we went to yesterday they came in um, and we did some fittings with them and then we went for dinner and yeah it's just yeah a very a very incredible week so yeah i just wanted to give you a little haul so today is our first day off like saturday first day off that we've had since we've been here so we're going exploring um i need to run because otherwise i'm going to be late but i i'm not going to take my camera just because it's like there's shit everywhere sorry but she's very very very She's very large um, and I don't want to have to carry it around. So I'm going to do some filming on my iPhone of the sites and stuff just so that I can show you because I think it would be cool to... I want to show you guys a bit more of Turkey, you know, not just the the factory stuff. So yeah, first day of exploring. I'm really excited, really excited. I think we're going to go to a lot of like historical sites. We want to go to one of the mosques, the bazaar to get some gifts and stuff. Um, but yeah. I'm so excited. We basically did like a big exploring day. So we went to see the Blue Mosque, which was so, so, so cool. Like, so cool. It's such a beautiful building and it's so nice to see something a little bit different. I've visited a lot of Italy, which I think I've mentioned in this vlog and seen a lot of churches. But I really appreciate being able to see some different sort of religious buildings and like obviously the way that they decorate and stuff is completely different and that like sun over the top of the blue mosque was just so beautiful the inside as well was super super super pretty super stunning attention to detail as always with religious buildings is just second to none like they are so beautiful um and then we also went to the basilica which was super cool smelled a little bit like a cave um, which I guess it kind of is, but it was very, very, very cool. Um, we did a lot of walking around on this day. We did some shopping. We, we did a lot, basically. We racked up a lot of steps, but it was nice to, I don't know, decompress a little from what we've been doing through the week and just be able to go and explore the sites. So yeah. Today was so much fun. Um, all the clips will be from my iPhone, like I mentioned. Unfortunately, my iPhone did actually run out of storage today. I've used 512 gigabytes. I do not know how, but of course it ran out today when I didn't have anything else. So I'm not sure what clips I have put in, but we went to the Blue Mosque. Um, we went to the palace we went to the i can't remember i need to remember basica something anyway very very very very cool you will have seen um we went to the grand bazaar we didn't go around it properly because it was just it was very intense in there and it was just very intense it was a very intense environment so we left there and we went to the egyptian bazaar as well which was again quite intense but a lot easier and we did, did actually end up buying some stuff the palace took the longest it was so so cool like the foot pin the foot pin the footprint of the prophet muhammad so much cool stuff in there and i've seen like a lot of christian buildings and churches i don't know this was just more interesting and like melissa was saying it's so cool to see like historical paintings with people of color in and it's so true because 
all the ones I've seen, it's just white people. And obviously it's not just white people that have existed for a very long time. And Istanbul is like one of the oldest cities in the world. Like there was such a wide range of like dates. We've got BC stuff in there. You've got like 19th century stuff. Such a mix, like such a like melting pot of different times. So interesting. I would definitely, definitely recommend checking out the palace if you come i think it's really worth it there's so much in there like you could honestly spend hours in there went to a place called zenup for our meal with <clears throat> the factory guys the other day one of the factories that we've been working with over here and the food was amazing but they also had like a little space to buy things so we went back um tonight and i got two bottles of pomegranate syrup um i'll probably keep one and i think i'm gonna give the other to either my sister on my mum and dad but the pomegranates out here are so good like the food is incredible out here it's so fucking good like i can't so i got these because i think they're gonna be banging on salads i also want to start like eating a bit more lamb when i get home i feel like i've really enjoyed the lamb that i've had here Let's do a little bit of a room tour this hotel is so nice like i'm not just saying this it's probably one of the nicest hotels i've ever stayed in so i've got the bathroom like here and you can dim it which is super nice like i love that this is dimmable but you come into the bathroom i've got a bath i've got a walk-in shower with like the rainfall shower which i love the toilet is in here and separate which we always love and then over here i've got a big sink area with all my like toiletry stuff. Tea bag wrapper there, I need to put that in the bin. Um, this body lotion as well is so nice. It smells really, really, really good. Love it. Here I am, this is where I have been getting ready on a morning. Um, yeah. So then you come through here and we've got wardrobe here with robes in. I think I've got slippers as well. Yeah, slippers. Oh, I might try the slippers on. Cupboard is in there. All that stuff is in there. I'm not going to show you because it's a bit of a mess. And then through here, all my makeup and bits and bats are here. Bed, super, super comfortable. My bedside table, which has my bottle of fake tan on. This is like the best thing ever because you can just so easily be like all off, on, if it wants to come on turn the master light on i can turn this bedside light here on like i just and yeah the bed is super comfortable and then i have a desk over here and um my like dirty laundry slash things i've worn chair slash shopping chair um and then my trainers are here and then if i show you the view super cool view i don't know what this is but super super cool and there's like a river running down here really really beautiful like beautiful hotel amazing room not just saying this genuinely one of the nicest hotels i've ever stayed in so yes it's the hyatt regency in atakoy in istanbul sorry but my case is making me laugh i'm just packing up and when i came from dubai to here i had room in my case i've had to do the extender i'm gonna have to really push it down and i can't even fit everything in my suitcase so i'm gonna have to put this in my hand luggage let's just say turkish people enjoy to give you gifts they enjoy to give you food and i also have a spending problem i've bought a lot of gifts for people here but yeah this is a little bit embarrassing to be honest this is gonna be really heavy so we're gonna round off this vlog i didn't actually end up filming anything yesterday me melissa and melissa just sort of walked around but started from like the bottom walked up to the tower looked in some shops um had some food and then we attempted to fit two things last night but i think they've just decided it wasn't really a good item like you basically just redo the whole thing. I wanted to show you what I was talking about, about the things that me and Melissa got to share. It's like these big roll things. It's like Turkish Delight, but in a roll. And this one is unreal. It's like hazelnut, kinder bueno, cream in the middle. A chocolate one and then a fruity one, which is actually a little bit like strange, but in a good way. You know when something tastes so different but in a good way and then melissa very very very kindly gave me her business class little 
baggy bag um because obviously she's going back so she's going to get another one so it came with like red little fluffy socks in i'll probably never fly business because i just can't a cute little eye mask um for sleeping some skincare products there's like a face tonic in here a body lotion some earplugs a lip balm so i actually really want some of this on right now I think I'm going to put this in my hand luggage, to be honest, because it's really, like, nice and refreshing. Um, but, yeah, that's what she gave me. And that's it. I am flying back to the UK today. I have a connecting flight on the way home. I am just praying that my luggage makes it all the way to Manchester because I can't be bothered to try and deal with that while sorting myself out for Black Friday as well. But this past week has been incredible. I've had so much fun, like so much fun this is like a dream trip for me i've learned so much i'm so so so grateful to alpha leap for bringing me for you know deciding to give me this opportunity but also for you guys as well because you know i could post like the most detailed reviews i could be the most nitpicky bitch in the world give you the most details but if you guys weren't receptive of it and supportive of it and supportive of me i don't think I would have been able to come on this trip. I don't think I would have been asked. So I really do owe a lot to Alphaly, yes, but also to you guys. I've always said I see you guys as like sort of more, more my boss than Alphaly because it really does boil down to you guys. Um, and yeah, I just hope I've been able to do you guys a good service here with the work that we've done. I hope I've been able to do you proud in a way in the sense of making sure i'm communicating not just what i want but what you guys want as well you know there's been products i've tried that for me for my personal preference i don't like that but i am open-minded enough to know that some people do love that design for example a cross front waist i don't like it on me but i know how popular surface cross waist was i know how much some girls like it and so just because i don't like it i'm not going to say you can't make this because i don't like it because some people do you know there's a difference between something being wrong the fit being wrong something not being quite right about a product or the quality not being there and something just not really being my cup of tea and i've really made sure that when i'm giving feedback to them this week i'm not just talking about for me i'm talking about for everybody you know taking into consideration you know my boob size taking into consideration um my torso length and everything like that just to make sure that everyone is sort of getting involved but yeah i've had so much fun so much fun trip of a lifetime super exciting and something that i will never forget doing it's been so much fun so much fun i never thought i'd get to do anything like this so yeah, I guess just a massive big fat thank you to Alpha Lee and a thank you to you guys. Um, I hope you found this vlog interesting, seeing a bit more behind the scenes. Um, and yeah, I'm going to leave this vlog here. So thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting me. Give the video a thumbs up if you want to. Subscribe if you want to and you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video, whatever that may be.